Good morning, guys. It's actually supposed to rain all day today. It's actually raining a little bit right now, so I don't know how long I can stay out here talking to you all. But late last night, Ellie and I actually found a spot along the Washington coast that we can stay at for free. And I always feel a little bit more myself when I'm at the coast. So I'm very, very happy. We've been in the city for days on end. This is kind of our first approximation of nature that we've been in. And I've had so many things go wrong with the van lately that it feels really nice to have just a relaxing, cozy day in the van. We're gonna bake some baked goods, make some yummy food, play some games, have a movie night on the projector, and it's just gonna be one of those feel-good, romantic van life days. I don't think that my van has ever looked cozier since I moved into it almost three years ago. And that is actually for kind of a funny reason. We are almost entirely out of electricity in my van and we have been for two weeks now. It's always raining or it's cloudy or the winter sun is hanging so low that we're drawing very little solar, if any at all. And since we will be in the PNW for a few more days, we are relying solely on candlelight and LEDs. But I don't think we really mind so much because it makes it really cozy, especially since it's raining outside. It's nice that it's not raining now, too much, but I hope that it starts really pouring here. It would just be so cozy. The rain's starting to pick up. We should probably close the door. Fun story about my ProMaster, my sliding door is almost impossibly difficult to close and all of my friends try all the time and can almost never do it on the first try. But I think today's the day that you're gonna do it on the first try. Do you wanna try it? Sure. <gasps> I did it! <laughs> Gotta make sure they're all coated in olive oil. It will ensure that it's extra crispy. Some gourmet avocado toast. It's probably worth like $10. Honestly, I've had avocado toast that was far worse than this. That was $10. How worse? It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Cozy van days are pretty great. Kind of feels like you're in a fort. Mm -hmm. This sliding bunk window has been overflowing on me so much lately and I thought that it was broken. I thought that this sliding, uh, I thought that this sliding part just wasn't sealing properly anymore because for the first two and a half years on the road, it never leaked one time. I looked it up online and I found out that all of these little ducts are covered by plugs that you can remove. And so I just removed all of them and all of the water instantly drained. And I'm just so happy because we have been sleeping with like wet pillows, wet cushion covers. It's been kind of exhausting. Everything in the van has been wet lately. We have had just an entire dashboard full of all of the rags that we haven't been able to dry. We're even still trying to dry this pillow because it is still wet because of that window leak. And this entire dashboard is covered in different towels that we are trying to dry. It's only just after two and it is already pretty much dark outside. Ellie is going to bake us these muffins that I am so excited for with some carrots and oats and banana. I'm so ready. Baking with Ellie begins. Baking with Ellie begins. It's gonna be really good, trust me. It's a process like everything in life. Yeah, 
bit of salt. And the most important ingredient is zipped cinnamon. Carrot confetti. Thinking about getting a van and wondering whether or not you should install an oven, you definitely should. Because not only do you have an oven in your van, but when you're not using it, you have optimal storage space for all of your pots and pans. <laughs> it's definitely a little tricky to get it to light sometimes, but maybe we'll get lucky on the first try. You hold down the pallet light for five seconds. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. And then you spark it, the pilot light turns on, and then you should just be able to turn it. And I got it on the first try. I've literally never gotten it on the first try before, so that's pretty cool. There's a break in the rain and we're finally stretching our legs for what feels like the first time in like three days. We found a way to get to the beach, a seven minute drive from where we parked the van. We did read on the reviews on iOverlander that you can technically get to the beach from where we parked, but they also said that you might not be able to get back up. So I'm glad we're here instead. definitely feels like winter. Although it's warmer today than it's been the past month, honestly, which has felt amazing. It's only 4.30 right now, and it got dark like two hours ago, which is kind of crazy. And I don't know if you guys were expecting it, but this entire video is basically just one big cooking video. <laughs> One thing I didn't mention is that I've only used my oven for baking a couple of times. Most of the time I use it for veggies or enchiladas and I have no idea how they're gonna turn out. <laughs> I have definitely had mixed results with baked goods in this little camper oven. So we'll see how they turn out. It might be a little doughy. Two more minutes and then these are done. They smell so good. I wish that I could transport smell to all of you. smell o vision but we cannot. It's time to try the muffin. Are you ready? First time and it turned out delicious. I think of all the baked goods I've ever made in this van, these have turned out the best. Really? I kind of wish you were there to try the burnt and soggy brownies or the deflated cookies because we have not had quite as good luck and I think it's a testament to Ellie's baking. Thank you. <laughs> I've never had this curry paste before, so I have no idea if it's any good. It smells nice. It smells kind of tomato-y almost. Spices, chili, garlic, lemongrass, salt, shallot. There's literally no tomatoes in this. <laughs> <laughs> so garlic first, and we're gonna be generous. Four cloves. No vampires in this van. Never. I think my favorite part about making winter meals is it's all soups and stews and curries, which basically means doing exactly what I do for every meal, which is adding a bunch of vegetables into one pot. That's all it is. Rice, baby. I know. Help. <laughs> help it. Yep, 
I don't add too many spices to my curries before I put in the paste, just because this is basically a flavor bomb. But I do like to season the tofu, especially since I haven't marinated it today. Honestly, I basically never marinate my tofu because I don't have the patience for it. So adding a little bit of soy sauce and a little spices to that always helps to really round out the flavor. Mm. Fresh ginger makes everything better. Adding the potatoes. Ah. And I think I'm gonna add the bell peppers too. Cause I like my bell peppers to be pretty well done but you could add these a little bit later. And then I'm gonna probably add just a little bit of salt but not too much because again, flavor bomb in the curry paste. What was that? Flavor bomb. And then a little mix. A little mix, little mix, little mix. I'm gonna add the carrots too. She's adding everything. She's adding everything. <laughs> not the zucchini yet but the broccoli soon. Veg is all in. And then I need this fork. And we're gonna do a little fluffage. It's almost done, it's not quite there. So now we'll just bring this to a boil and we'll let it simmer for really as long as we want. Probably five, 10 minutes is fine though. That's good curry paste. I don't think so. It's actually really, really nice. I would definitely buy this curry paste again. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I'm so excited. so good. The flavors are mmm, lekka. Mmm. It's good. You mm -hmm. like it? Ketchup. Thank you for cooking. Mmm, the ginger. I think we are going to sit and enjoy this curry for a little while and afterwards we're going to make it really nice and cozy in here and have a movie night, which we actually have not done yet together. And ever since I've gotten the projector for my van, I've been using it all the time. But I really haven't had my power bank charged and tonight is the first night we've really had power because my van is still currently pretty low on battery. We haven't had the fridge going since we moved back into the van almost a week ago. We have 63 usable amps left, which actually isn't so bad. The kitchen lights are the only electricity we've been using in the van all day and they pull, it looks like about a half amp an hour. These sold drinking chocolates from Whole Foods. You know what we say in German? And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video. Take care of yourselves. Oh, wait, Feel hacked. Look at Eliza right now. <laughs> Eliza, you are the main character. This treat is absolute gold. I've been waiting for avocado toast for the last three hours. This treat is the reason that my dog gets out of bed in the morning. I'll get a shot of us working from up there and then I'll get a shot of our hands. It'll be great. Cool. This is the reason, friends, <laughs> why she loves me.
Hallelujah, it's rain in Chile. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's raining nutritionally. Here we're down. Ah! Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Column. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were some <laughs> having more outtakes. Bloops. Oh yeah, that's a good bloop. <laughs> and that's the tea. <laughs>